cold out here this morning. Bit of a change for Brecky. Got the old avocado out. Gonna have uh, Av on uh, muffins today. Toasting these. On my cool toaster. Well, on my stove, on my cool stove. I like my single burner stove still. So much easier than bringing out the entire like double burner stove, much better. And look at this avocado. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. We've stopped at a funny little section on the side of the road and uh, back here is like a river canal thing. Anyway, we're probably possibly gonna have lunch here soon. And um, we found this table. Check it out, I'm gonna turn the camera around. The usual stuff, you know, a few leftover chips, a bit of, what is that, pie crust or something. And some of those sensors that you have on you when you go to hospital, but with a lot of hair. That's, uh, that's nice, isn't it? This was a very hairy person. That's kind of a little bit grody, maybe. Fight, 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 fight. It's my birch, get off. Oh, Ollie, really? <laughs> A lot of traffic along this little canal thing, eh? That stop for lunch was nice. It was a really um, relaxed spot. It was nice and shady where the table was and um, got to see a few water vehicles go past. It was a whole variety. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, got my, uh, got my drink. This is my iced chocolate. We're off to the next destination. It's gonna take about an hour, um, just over. It's been a nice relaxing day. We went to the op shop and we got some books for Alexis. Um, Alexis hasn't been a big reader, but she's decided that she would like to start reading on her own. So um, that's really cool. We got a Nancy Drew as well. There wasn't a huge variety to choose from, so it was a bit limited. Um, yeah, the Nancy Drew, or the first edition, is as old as I am, so that's quite interesting. In the afternoon, once we arrive, we'll just be relaxing, I reckon. Uh, maybe Alexis will have a go on her laptop. I might just chill watching some YouTube videos. That's about it, really. It's really nothing terribly exciting going on. In two kilometers, keep left onto M1 towards Brisbane. And that's what Siri says. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see ya, bye. showgrounds can't remember the suburb which is terrible but we're next to this thing here and I cannot figure out what these things are 
Anyone know? Tell me in the comments if you know what on earth these things are. It's a mystery. Got to watch out at the Launton Showgrounds because there's dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs. Roar! Alexis is just chilling out on her laptop playing TF2. And doggo's down the end there. Ollie! Ollie! There we go. <laughs> just leave me alone, I'm resting. We have one neighbour over here. This is part of their van through my mesh. We're just chilling for a while and we might eat dinner afterwards. Our thermal pot meal is ready and it's really good. It's the same one we had last time, which is, crikey, I almost dropped it off my lap, which is um, chickpeas and tofu. And this is it here. And last time we added some peri-peri. It was Alexis's idea to add the peri-peri. Here we go, Alexis is quite enjoying it. And um, first bite I thought, Oh, it's just as it's just as plain as last time. But then after like I chewed a few times, the flavour kicked in. <laughs> it's actually heaps better. And I think what I did last time when I put the herbs in is I think I somehow halved it because I had this recipe app called Paprika, and I think I halved it in the app, so it halved all the things for me. But then I forgot that I told it to do half. And then I halved the spices as I put them in. And I had the, the little jar of spices with me. And this time, when I had all the spices in the one jar ready to go, um, as I was putting them in that jar, I thought, I don't remember this being this full last time. <laughs> and I think what I did is I accidentally made the recipe have half the amount of spice. And this time it's heaps, heaps better. Yeah. heaps better <laughs> so I think that was the problem last time that was that a mozzie that made it a bit plain and this time it's much better much more flavorful juvenile magpie see how it looks a bit gray instead of really black and white that's what the young ones look like it's pretty early no I lie it's not pretty early it's pretty early for me. It's uh, before eight. It's a nice morning. It's coolish out here, but um, we were toasty warm in the car last night. Oh, there's the Maggie behind me now. Hey, little magpie. Had a nice trip. We've got some neighbors over here behind me. Um, they're nice, we had a bit of a chat to them when we arrived yesterday. Tonight will be our last night, our final night of our trip, six nights total. Um, we've done pretty well. Oh, there's the Maggie coming back. Hey, little magpie. <laughs> there it is. It's so cute. Anything good there, Maggie? things in the grass. How nice would it be just to find your dinner in the grass instead of having to cook every day? It started raining. It's even a bit of thunder. I don't know if you can even really see the rain from there. Can you see it falling on top of the car? There you go. It was uh, a bit of thunder just before as well. I missed it. Did you hear that thunder? Lucky there's this tin roof above me. 
just going to do this shed thing here. See? Get it under cover, which is nice. One other thing we're going to have to um, figure out is what to do for training. Like, if we need to make meals and stuff, and we don't have an undercover um, camping spot, then um, for the future we have to think about how we're going to handle wet weather. If we're camping in our car, hmm, very wet out there. Alexis and the dog are in the car now. Oh, I, can, I can just see Ollie through the back door. I don't know if you can see her there. No, too many reflections, I think. I've just been enjoying standing in this undercover area listening to the rain and the thunder. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> it's great though. Showgrounds here, Pine Rivers Showgrounds, it's called. Oh, let's move my umbrella tag out of the way. Maybe we'll have lunch before we go, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just find somewhere and have chips or something. Don't know. I think we'll just decide in the next hour or so what we're gonna do. In the meantime, I'm just enjoying this. Last storm from <laughs> relative cover. We had a good camping trip. Uh, we are actually heading home now. It's a bit of a longer drive than we normally do. Um, but uh, we were planning to um, <clears throat> stealth camp just over the border and Alexis didn't feel like stealth camping. So instead we're just gonna make our way home slowly over the next several hours and uh, <clears throat> stop for breaks if we want to and um, just take it easy, make it a relaxed trip home. So five nights now. It was gonna be six, but now it's just been five nights. And I think we did well. We found places for all our new things in the car. Well, not all our Red new things. Red light camera ahead. <clears throat> Only two new things, which was our stools and everything was comfortable as usual and all cozy in the back. So that was fun. Um, that's it. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you've been enjoying the content. Leave a comment, say hi, ask a question, whatever you want. It's all good, interaction is awesome. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. We stopped at Pie Face for lunch. Yum. And um, <laughs> there's the dog in the car. And uh, took out our little stools here. Oh, there, there they are. Down underneath me. And there's Alexis is down underneath her. They're so freaking handy. I really love them. 
Um, yeah, so we just stopped on the grass here next to the car, car park. And um, yeah, really handy, easy. I just love these stools heaps. Oh, there's a bit of light reflecting there, sorry about that. Can you see the dog through the windscreen? She's sitting, there she is, she's sitting on top of the fridge, watching us eat our pies. Looking surprisingly not jealous. Maybe she's just resigned to her fate. Poor dog. We're so mean. Oh no, there's someone she can bark at now. <laughs> she's she's happy now. <laughs>